My stepsister broke my $200 Spider-Man mask and doesn't want to apologize. A story from r slash relationship advice. I am an 18-year-old male and have been a huge fan of Spider-Man since I was a kid. He's my hero and the character I love the most. Last year, I found an offer to buy an extremely faithful reproduction of the mask from the original Sam Raimi films, and after months of saving, I finally managed to buy it. The other day, my stepsister, 17-year-old female, broke her phone charger, so she anxiously searched for a spare among the things in my room while I was out. Since the Spider-Man mask is placed on top of the box in which I keep chargers, adapters, pen drives, etc., she took the mask and threw it on the bed to make room and took the box. But the mask fell and one lens came off and the 3D rubber web also came off in two places. The mask is very fragile. In fact, I never wore it except to go to the cinema to see the last film. So I kept it on display in my room without ever touching it so as to not damage it. When I got home and found the mask in that condition, she explained to me what had happened as if there was nothing wrong and as if hers was a normal way of behaving. When I got angry, she said it was just a silly mask, which is not essential to live, but her phone is. I told her that she is selfish and arrogant. So she replied that I'm acting like a child because at my age, I shouldn't get mad about these things. I'm not saying this is the end of the world, but I would expect her to at least apologize. It wouldn't take much to say sorry. But she refuses because she says she didn't do anything serious and she needed the charger. The thing that bothers me the most is that my dad actually scolded me for getting mad at my stepsister because he says, quote unquote, there's no need to be angry about a toy. My stepmother said she is very sorry and asked if it's possible to fix the mask, and that if so, she would pay for the costs. I thanked her and told her not to worry. I don't want her to pay. I just want her daughter to apologize and stop treating my things like this, and my dad to stop being a boomer. A commenter states, Your stepmother is more grown up than your father, or at least understands that this means something to you. It's good that you thanked her whether you accepted the offer to fix it or not. Explain to him that the item in question may just be a toy to him, but to you it was a valuable bit of memorabilia that helped you connect not just to a hobby, but a simpler time when you remember being happy and watching these things with him. Tell him that's why you were so willing to save your money for however long you saved up and shell out 200 bucks for it, and now that's ruined. Once he understands that, explain that it's bad enough that the thing got broken, but you could have accepted that. It's the fact that it was just treated as if it weren't important or even worthy of apologizing over that got you really upset. Explain it's like if you accidentally broke the TV and instead of apologizing over it, you just shrugged and said, shame, then went on with your life. See, at the moment, he wants the peace to resume and sees you acting angry to make you out to be the aggressor here. If you act calmly, don't call him a boomer, and explain this stuff to him, then he'll know why you were angry and should be less dismissive about it. Another comment states, that just a toy comment bothers the F out of me. You spent your hard earned money on something and kept it out of reach and stored it so it wouldn't break. How your dad doesn't see anything she did wrong is effed up in favoritism, in my opinion. He's working on having a spoiled stepdaughter at this rate at the risk of alienating his own child. I guess my takeaway from this is that if stuff breaks, people shouldn't get upset. Hope some memorabilia of his gets broken so he can illustrate to you how he follows his own words so well. Also, take your stepmother up on her offer. It's kind of a big deal, and maybe when she realizes it, she will actually punish her stepdaughter. Another comment reads, I agree. It's a good idea to accept your stepmother's offer. Once she sees how much it costs and how hard you had searched and saved for it, she'll hopefully have a word with her immature, disrespectful dad and irresponsible daughter. 
If these people think it's just a random toy, then they don't understand why it's painful. In any case, your sister really needs to learn to apologize for her mistakes, and she probably needs to learn that having a charger for her essential toy slash tool is her responsibility and doesn't entitle her to act like a maniac. If she were on an important, life-changing call, then she could have asked them to call her on another number, her dad's phone for example, or asked to call them back explaining her situation. I doubt what she was doing was any more important than your prized possession. Ask her how she'd feel if you accidentally ruined $200 worth of her expensive makeup palettes or designer clothes, but didn't apologize because it's just makeup and clothes. Tell her how long you saved up for it. Tell her especially that you're upset and she doesn't seem to care and couldn't apologize. Do all of this with a calm and sad tone and manage any angry feelings because that's only going to make her more defensive. It's likely that she won't change if she has no respect for other people and their property. It's sad that some people are just like this. Worth a shot at trying to save your relationship with your sister, though because if you try to ignore these feelings, they'll fester and you'll start to resent her. Another commenter states, Honestly, I really want you to be petty and do something similar in revenge. Sell one of her favorite toys because you need the money and it's just an unimportant toy, but I don't think that would actually help you. Maybe you could also try to provoke an emotional response from your dad by asking why doesn't he care about you enough to teach your stepsister that breaking other people's possessions is wrong. Another commenter states, yes, besides breaking an important physical object, she also broke many boundaries. I would distance myself from this relationship. She needs to learn that this is not okay. By being cold and distancing yourself from her, she'll probably understand and ask what's up to which you reply with the situation. She eventually will give in and apologize or mature eventually. She is a teen after all. The value of anything is what each individual gives it. Everyone has the right to give less value to something you adore, but they can never tell you it's less valuable. Once people understand that, they will understand you and the situation. Don't let her walk on you and keep those boundaries there. It seems you can avoid conflict and that's why she's reckless with you and your things. But you don't need to create conflict when you are simply minding your own business and avoiding her. So what would you do in this situation if you were the boy teen? Would you confront your stepsister? Would you take up the offer from your stepmother? Or would you go some other route? Appreciate you all. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more stories and click on the screen right now for another one.